Let's move to practice exercise 1. In a mixture of 100 liters, the ratio of milk to water is 3 to 1. If 200 liters of water is added to the mixture, what is the new ratio of milk and water? This is a simple question. 100 liters of mixture. So, the amount of milk and water is in the ratio of 3 to 1. So, milk will be 75 liters out of the 100 liters and water will be 25 liters. 200 liters of water is added. So, you add another 200 liters of water. It becomes 75 liters milk and 225 liters water or the ratio becomes 1 is to 3. Easy question, not an issue at all, but I want you to understand the particular concept. So, I will take an example from here. Okay. Now, if you go back to your basics of percentages, we can say percentage of milk into volume of mixture is equal to quantity of milk. And so, percentage of milk, you could even say the fraction of milk. For example, in this question, if I have to look at fraction of milk, I will say 3 by 4. If I have to look at percentage of milk, I will say 25%. Okay. I hope there is not an issue. Percentage of fraction of milk multiplied by volume of the mixture should give you the quantity of the milk. Okay. Now, if the volume of mixture becomes double, the percentage of fraction of milk should become half. Because the quantity of milk remains constant in this particular question because you are adding water. So, if volume of mixture doubles, volume of mixture doubles by addition of water. Please, I think this is the important part which you need to remember by addition of water. Volume of mixture doubles by addition of water, the quantity of milk will remain the same. So, if the quantity of milk will remain the same, whatever has been done to the volume of the mixture, the reciprocal of that will happen to the percentage of mixture or fraction of mixture. So, in this particular question, what is happening is, the volume of the mixture is going from 100 liters to 300 liters by addition of 300 liters of, I am sorry, by addition of 200 liters of water. So, the volume has become 3 times. If the volume has become 3 times, the fraction of milk should be become one third. The original fraction of milk was 3 by 4. So, the new fraction of milk has become 3 by 4 into 1 by 3, which means it has become 1, is 1 by 4. So, 1 fourth is milk. Obviously, 3 fourth should be water or the ratio becomes 1 by 4 is to 3 by 4 or 1 is to 3, okay? which is uh, the, the new ratio of milk is to water. Also notice this particular choice. The, why is this choice there? So that if you calculate water is to milk, you will, you will mark this. So such questions always be careful. If the answer question is water is to milk, most probably there will be choice called water is to milk also available. So both choices, water is to milk and milk is to water, both will typically be available in the question. But I hope this concept is clear to you. That quantity of milk in this particular case is remaining constant. If the quantity of milk is constant, then whatever happens to the volume of mixture, the reciprocal will happen to the fraction of milk. So, if the volume of mixture was becoming 4 by 5 times, so, I'm sorry, 5 by 4 times, the percentage of milk would have become 5, 4 by 5 times. Okay? So, so, this part you need to remember.